Hey guys, today we're gonna show you how I clean my Pixma MG5520 printer by Canon. Like most of you guys, you've had oh, those moments where you go to print something and lo and behold, it's nothing but a partially printed image and it's all messed up and you don't know what to do and you think you have to buy a new printer, or at least that was I, that's what I was told. So I did a little research and I found out that you actually can take out the print head in this and clean it really easily. Not like most uh, videos I've seen or instructions I've read that you have to like put a towel in there and you can't take out the print head and it's just a big mess. So I'm gonna show you guys here how I do it and here we go. All right, so first things first, you're gonna turn on your printer. Let it load up. Then you're gonna open everything up. There you go. And it will bring this out. There you go. All right, let's Get in a little bit closer so you can see a little bit better here. There we go, okay. So, take everything out. All your ink. Now this has only been used for edible ink. It has never been used for you know, regular printing. So make sure that that's what you're doing as well. So here you can see in the very back, right here, here, this might help. Right here, this is where your print head is at. And before, you would have to put a towel underneath here and you'd have to put all the liquid through and it just created a big mess because people couldn't figure out how to get that print head out. So this is what you do. You scooch this over just a little bit and you pull this out like that, okay? And it's being held right here. You stick your hand in, you grab this little tab, you rock it forward. I'm trying to do this so you guys can see, but it is a little bit hard. You rock it forward. There you go. So you rock it forward, and then you pull it out like that. And there you go. There's your print head. All right. I'll push this back here and give you guys a better angle. All right. So now that we have the print head out, we need to clean it. This is the easiest part of everything. I went ahead and I went online and I bought myself from a company. It's a print head flush system for cleaning all Canon print heads. All right. <clears throat> it comes with tons of stuff in here. It works really well and it has the liquid that is formulated for your printer so it'll still be edible it's not gonna hurt anything it's non-toxic biodegradable so it comes in that bag comes this comes a soaking jar which as you can see i've already used and i have it filled with some water it comes with a syringe. Comes with tubing to fit your particular printer, which in this case is all Canons. It comes with a glove. It comes with little tweezers. And it also comes with a towel that I've already used, so I just have some regular paper towels for us to use today. Okay? So move all this to the side and oh it also comes with instructions 
Okay. Tips, tricks, all that stuff. All right, so we have our printer head, all right? As you can see, see right there? That is what is causing everything to clog, all that gunk buildup. And if you don't use your printer on a regular basis, like me, because I don't use it very often, this happens frequently. So it it's worth the money to buy the system because it's a lot cheaper than buying a new printer, okay? So you get your soaking jar, which I filled with water, just so I can show you guys, but you would fill it with the solution. You take your tweezers, you pull out these little rubber pieces, they're super easy to put back in. You drop them into your cleaning solution, which right now I have water, all right? I'm gonna do this relatively quick here. And it helps if you work on a paper towel because it will get messy. All right, well, there you go. That's in there. See them all in there? Give it a little shake, help it to get its cleaning started. All right, so I'll give you an example. This right here, this one, that's pretty much clean. You can see the difference between this one that's clogged and this one that's clean. So you take your tube. So this is the big one, so obviously it's gonna fit onto the bigger one, right? You get your solution and you're gonna put the tube on the syringe fits perfectly and then put it in the solution you drop some liquid you don't need much you know it depends on how everything how clogged everything is but you really don't need much all right you place the tube there we go there we go onto there so you can see it fits really snug I'm not holding on to it and then you just press and what it does is it sends the cleaning solution through the bottom here and cleans out your print head. There you go. Easy as that. Like, see the difference? Super clean. All right. I'll show you the other one. Just so you can get an idea. It's the same same exact principle except now you use the smaller tube put it on you're gonna draw up some solution right you're gonna put it on let's put it on this one right here okay it's on there and there you go. As you can see, this is the one that has the pink. So, coming out the bottom all pink. You don't have to use everything that you pull up all at once. You can go on to the next one and so on and so forth. Okay? So that's that. I'm gonna put the extra solution back in here. And put it to the side. And since I don't like to waste, I am just gonna pour the extra on here. I'm not gonna hurt anything. It's non-toxic, so we're good to go. All right. So now you have this nice clean print head. So we're going to dry it off. Be careful for the bottom. Because there is, you know, that's where everything comes out ink-wise. You don't want to mess it up. So I just kind of blot it, carefully wipe it. And let me get a new towel over here. First time I did this, I did take longer because it was really badly clogged. So this is really barely even clogged, to be honest with you. 
All right, so we got that. And we have our little rubber stoppers, we'll call them, that have been cleaning in our solution, which for these purposes I have water so you could see it better. Okay. So there you go. And the cool thing about this kit is everything's included. I mean, you really literally just need like maybe a couple paper towels and that's it. I mean, it's that easy. So starting with, we'll start with the big one because that's the one I have in my hand. Place it on. And let's see, it goes that way, that's it. Okay. I'm going to do the same for all these other ones here, which when you have, you know, nice fingers <laughs> that cannot fit properly in small places, it takes a second or two, but you will get it. If you need help, just kind of use the tweezers along the way. Okay. Got it. Last one, we are almost done. I mean, we're at the 11 minute mark here. We're almost done. I mean, how easy is that? It's probably couldn't even made it to the store to go buy a new printer in this time. All right, so let's move everything out of the way. Print head, clean, dry, ready to go. All we're gonna do now is install it into our printer, which I will pull up right here. And let's get you guys a better angle. There we go. Right there. Okay, so this was the hardest part for me, but that's because I'm not very coordinated with my hands. So, you're gonna hold it from this piece right here. And just like how you took it out, you're gonna slide it back and it literally just pops. Whoa right back into place just like that and that's it we would install our ink put you guys back on here all right so we'll install our ink real quick that back into place and there you go that's it you are done close everything up and now you do not have a clogged printer so that's it and you, the best thing about these edible printers is you can buy refillable ink so that will be the next video I'm going to show you how you refill these cartridges with edible ink super easy and we're going to do it together. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to click subscribe. It's free. And share if you feel like it. I appreciate it very much. Bye.